of my heart In the palm of your hand Before I could ever speak a word And you knew me, whoa, and you grew me From a child into a man And you opened the door to all life that in store Now I've got some friends, and I've seen some love And in this life, in so proud of Oh, the man I become I become so well versed Because you love me first You love me first You make me laugh When I don't want to laugh But you know Never regret it. Oh no, <laughs> cause you know me. Oh, how you show me how to be a better man. Oh, you open the door to all life has in store. Some love, and in this life, in this life, I'm so proud of all oh, the man I become. I become so well versed because you love me first. out there and all the dog cat rat uh bunny Bird, turtle turtle moms <laughs> literally if 
if you are in some stewarding relationship with something where you are responsible for it, uh, we salute you and we love you and we're so thankful and I, we hope you feel encouraged today. Um, we have a special guest in, um, yeah, so that video is called Love Me First. Uh, my mom told me that if, yeah. if I wrote a song about it, uh, about her, I could just use that every Mother's, Mother's Day, Day. <laughs> for the rest of my life. And I was I'm like, good. that sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> um, and uh, anyways, so yeah, we, where's everybody tuning in from? Just want to say hello. I hope you guys have had some good time. Um, hi, Instagram. We are actually, uh, we're actually behind you. You're looking at the screen that's being projected onto um, Facebook. If you guys want to see the, the kind of more produced version of this, it's on Facebook. But where are you guys all from? Um, let's see. Aunt Poppy. Mm-hmm. Harvey Park. Right? Yep, that's my neighborhood. Wow. Yes. That's our uh, babysitter. Wisconsin. Well, geez, my yeah. friend. Arkansas. Yeah, exactly. Heck yeah. Well, we got people all over. Colorado Springs over here, Pittsburgh, Arizona on Instagram, Canada, um, beautiful Lake Mary, Florida. Uh, oh, okay, I think I just read you on Instagram, Maryland, San Francisco here. That's cool. You guys wow. can hear us all right. It's early too. Um, and then Mr. Joe, Los Angeles. How you doing, boss? <laughs> Joe's on. <laughs> I see Joe all Canada, the time. Canada, Florida. Post. Yeah. He's a good guy. Erica, right up the road. She's, uh, her and her husband own Coal Mine Avenue Brewing. Right oh, there. cool. Awesome. That's great. Well, place. excellent, guys. Mm -hmm. um, Canada. So, again, we just, uh, we wanted to, actually, I have some fun, fun facts. Cause let, let's talk about animal owners here for a second. Did you guys know, in, specifically in America, owners will spend upwards of five billion dollars on holiday presents for their pets Dang. that's cool <laughs> that's crazy 48 percent of cat owners report that their kitties like to watch tv and put their tv on for them um oh all right here's a question how many per what percent of people when they go on vacation take their dog with them i'd be curious i'm going to come back to that one 80% 80, 80 of us believe that our animals sense our moods. Mom, actually, oh, sure. let, me, let me just quickly give a sneak peek. This is my mom. She's Hi. sitting eight feet away. Um, mom, Without do, a mask. You, you, have, you have, let me fix this microphone. Um, you have, there you go. Okay. You have, how many cats do you have? I have two, but I'm fostering one of yours temporarily <laughs> but it ended up being a foster failure so do you i fell in love with would but. you would you say that your cats uh can kind of experience your mood yeah um they'll come in they follow me like everywhere <laughs> i go but i think they think i have treats for them all the time but i do find especially in the evening when they're more calm and everything and they'll come up to me and then they'll purr and then yeah i like to so, are you, so are, you, are you calm in the evening? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm a very calm person. Don't you know that, Ryan? <laughs> Except when you drink your triple latte quadruple Oh, yeah. Starbucks. No, that's five shots. <laughs> five shots? What you is, didn't know that? <laughs> actually, yeah. five wait, shots. Yeah, what is your, what is your, hours what's your to, Starbucks order? It's a five shot non fat latte with extra foam and one shot of vanilla. And I can't even order it now with the carry out because they said there's no way. You have to do whatever's available on the chart. So I have to go to Safeway and get my coffee. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So Lori was saying, uh, my husband and I take separate vacations so we don't have to leave our golden alone. <laughs> Most... <laughs> that's probably I, a good idea. I can almost see the you, longer and mom, you're married. you and dad doing that. Oh, he already does it without me all the time. Foster feel. Yeah here but um anyways back to that that stat that i left you guys hanging with if i can track it down again um what, what was the question again oh one one third of owners take their dogs with them and then 80 percent of animals or we believe that they can sense our our mood but anyways uh yeah i hope you guys have been having a good animal mother's day <laughs> um 
<laughs> Thank you for answering my story earlier. Sounds like it was arranged with lots of people barbecuing today, which was awesome. But, oh, that sounds awesome. Um, I was wondering if you brought your scissors, you cut my hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, my hair cuts still oh, my gosh. minus minus. And Ryan's this. is getting long, too. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, your like dad's a, is really... Like a blonde... <laughs> I think we'll have to get oh, your father on. It's okay. Here. It just looks. It looks late. Actually, it doesn't look bad. I'm. I was <laughs> definitely surprised. <laughs> I it didn't, doesn't it look vacation. more like Marissi now, yeah. more so yeah. than the oh, vampire. Look at this. Linda said one year we took our Boston Terrier to Disney World. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. You have to have one of those animals for meditation, like, and then you can or get away with a, take or emotional therapy. support is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Here's, we have, we have two kind of options and we can decide which one. Mom, would you, would you rather play a Never Have I Ever game with <laughs> us first? Or would you rather kind of tell some dirt and show some embarrassing pictures <laughs> Is that first? the plan? I definitely have a few stories. That... Start that. That sounds okay. good. Okay. So do you want me to switch over to maybe some photos? So just as a, a heads up. My mom has sent me photos. I only saw like the first two just because of the album. So I'm not entirely sure what else is going to be in this album. And uh, if she's, she's got a, a stack of... I have a of... stack, but I'm not a lot... The one I love is... Well, here's the thing. You could do a test. Grab one and put it up to the camera there and see if... Because see my mom, you know, obviously she, she <laughs> doesn't... She's got like hundreds of photos. We're, don't worry. We're not, we're not going to go through 655,000 no, no. pictures here. But if there's like, just do a test one. Just push it. Okay, a test one. All yeah, right. just to see if we can see it. And maybe it, maybe start with non-nudity because I see nudity. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I right, love that put one. It up, put it up real close. Where do I put the, it? The camera. No, the oh. Camera. Oh no, mom. The camera. Right. All right, Becca. Becca, that's it. Try there. All right, further back, back. Oh, there All it right. is. Okay, so like that oh actually works God. really well. Oh my gosh. Okay, so mom, pass that's, that back. That's so me on the right. We can, uh, we can if we need to, do, <laughs> do real some pictures. Of those. Okay. okay. But let's start with... Um... <laughs> that that's one. Sad. All right. All right. All right, mom, you get to commentary. <laughs> Who is, right. is that me on the right? Yeah. That's you on the right. But you guys didn't wear a lot of clothes. There's a picture of Kyle getting mail, climbing on the actual mailbox, in a, and usually has moon boots on. Does anybody know what moon boots so are? So I imagine growing up, because you have four boys, obviously, and I have three brothers, but was this was like a normal thing, us running around half Well, yeah, because you guys kept growing out of your clothes. So I had to wait until one of you got bigger so we could pass them on. There were, there were times when... Those feet pajamas, they got so small on you, I had to cut the legs off, and they were knee pajamas. <laughs> we didn't spend a lot of money on Aww. those. Shoes. Is this Ryan and And our, our office, office manager, Darcy. Darcy. She's and like, she's, she's like, I always thought you two would get together Aww, one day. She's, yeah, she's like, like, I, you were best, too close to be uh, girlfriend boyfriend. She's my best friend. She's the best. And then I got to tell you this story about it's Fight me. for the Mouse. Because I was flight attendant, and that beret was one of our uniforms, so... I'm not the real creative in the type no, that sews, that's amazing. but I actually used that sewing machine that I, I let it's Ross It's like the Ryan and show. I like become... it. I like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, there's, that's a bunch. Yeah, that's me. He's yeah. got a package going on there <laughs> under the tree. Well, not even in the tree. It's on his I think, pants. I think we call that a hoof. <laughs> oh, it's, that's a cow. All right, there's Ross with the water. Oh my roll. gosh, is that? That's you. Really? You're, yeah, Playing that's when I knew you really... were going to be a musician. <laughs> Look oh, at that couch. God. That's amazing. That couch in the background. Got getting some love there. I think, uh, yeah, from Fox Hollow. That's probably dark. Ross, or Brian, is that your underwear you're trying to put on your head? <laughs> I hope you show that one. Aw. So, the, the, yeah, this... Where is this actually? Do you know? That's in Dublin, in Ireland, we oh. Wexford, in John Bowler's um, house. We went to visit them, and um, I love that area. All right, Ross and Becca, and that was at one of his wild. How old do you think you you are? There? He was right out, but you always like to wear. There's Ooh. little Coley, and we were in and out of the hospital with cold nonstop, so we were always there as a support group, and he so Kyle, he's right the here. toughest guy ever. Kyle's the, in the middle here, and it looks like he's tuning in. Kyle, gosh, you know. We never missed um, being there for Cole. And there's little Cole with, Aww, is that Spencer? That Barrington? must have been Spencer. But yeah. here's, a, here's just a quick little pause here. Um, 
you know, what, what was it like growing up with four boys and four animals? Because okay. we, had, we yeah. had two dogs and two cats and four boys. I mean, that what was that like? Because there's well, probably other people on here that would want to know what the heck that was like. Has anybody ever watched Malcolm in the Middle with yeah. Brian Cranston? Yeah. yeah. That's one of the funny. I used to get that all the time when I was flying. People would say, oh, my gosh, you sound like that TV show. <laughs> and it was serious. There, are, You know, you all kind of just followed suit, and your older brother was the role model yeah. at the beginning. That's and okay. you guys, I was very fortunate. Love Kyle. <laughs> yeah. I actually had passengers that told me how to raise four boys. And oh, I can give cool. you some hints, and it worked for me. Wow. Uh, so you didn't I, read a ton of books, or you did? No, there I have books, books that I want to read, but I never have time to read books. Mm -hmm. So I'm a wannabe reader. I look forward to that when I retire. Well, I'm already retired, but one <laughs> yeah. day. Anyway, I have to tell you this because it's a great point. He said, make sure when you have boys, they have one sport that they challenge themselves. Oh, cool. And they do well. And it can be music. It can be art. It can be something other than sport, but something they do just on their own. Oh, cool. And then also a team sport that they can yeah. learn to be a team player. That is our childhood. And he said you have to keep them busy. Yeah. You don't, and one other point, Kyle, your number one son needs to be somebody that you want to make sure is straight and narrow because you're yeah. going to always follow his footsteps. Oh, cool. Good his, advice. All right, that one, Ross put his so, underwear in the wait, one hole. Wait, that is Ross. Wait. Well, wow, you're we with him. we look the you, same. So Jen, Jenica says she has three boys and four animals. So there, that... She, Pay attention there, Jenica, what, what she just said, because none important. of us ended up in jail yet. Wait, that's me and... All right, so tell us... All right, Ross put his underwear on all by himself. He just he was potty <laughs> trained now, so he was so excited to wear his brother's underwear. And he put him in the same foot. And then Ryan turned him around and said, Mom, he didn't put him on right. He has oh a leg in the gosh. back. All right, so that... That picture is if you put both feet in the same leg for yeah. some reason, yes. And he was so proud. And this was a really important day for Ross yeah. and I to so share this together. Was, this was my interview in vet school. And yeah. uh, we We weren't even sure to... if you would get accepted. Yeah, we took a... All right, that, no, you got to show that one. Show the one of you, just your face. That's you looking at Becca walking down Aww. the aisle. And the look on your face. I mean, uh, I thought you were going to cry. I just start, my face started melting. Well, I did, yeah. It's so beautiful. And there's Aww. Coley sleeping with his little grandson, and I was on his, or his, uh, his sister's, or no, it's his birthday. All right, here we go. That one's um, that John Mayer Tennessee Whiskey. Oh, Chris, Chris Stapleton. Stapleton. I love that one. That's Ross. Yeah, that's Ross. Wait, there's one of you with a bow tie that everybody said you look like Winston Churchill. <laughs> but that's Ross, and they were all breast. Well, oh, not, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. This is uh, this happens to the be the threesome. Just and dad's hair is like that right now. His hair is really long, but yeah. I like it. I love this one. It kept us wet. So these are the four boys that you raised. I mean, how, what, what And you, your dad. I mean, well, I have to say I was the responsible. How, how'd, how'd you do, how'd you, so how'd you raise four boys? I mean, it was chaos, Okay, a right? lot of milk, a lot of cereal, and I made sure I never had Oreo cookies. <laughs> I love Oreo because, cookies. Because, yeah, you guys would eat them up in one day. That's, so I, I still always do. got you Fig Newtons. <sighs> And then I found out you love Fig Newton. All right, who was the toughest? Well, yeah. And who was the toughest? And here, you guys, right if you now, want, cold. start. If you want, start throwing some questions in on the comments, and we'll fling them at my mom, and then we're gonna get into our uh, never have I ever. Oh, been. I guess that's it. But go Cole, ahead. Cole. Well, Cole was tough. I mean, he gets through everything, and he's he's basically what? our competitive athlete. What about Ross getting hurt though? Ross and Cole between the two there it was all right here's what happens you would take one to the doctor to get stitches and while you're there you would tell him can you take out the stitches with this other one so we'd have to make another trip. <laughs> I mean you're always in and out and there was a time when Kyle we were going to Michigan we're all dressed ready to go I go now don't go outside I want you getting dirty and Kyle slipped out the door and went on his skateboard and I said if you get hurt I'm don't call me. <laughs> because we're not we're leaving without you mm -hmm. and he got hurt and he called Kara Moore and she called me and she goes I have one of your sons he's afraid to call you but he just fell on his skateboard and I was like oh I'm sorry I'll go get him so that kind of pseudo answers that he yes. was the most a most accident prone Ross okay. Ross when he was young but then Cole as he got older he was fearless and okay. both you guys started it though with the motorbike so yep. do you remember the time when you were riding Thunder Valley and you were in the AT but they were all on 
Cole, two years old, took off on his motorcycle, <laughs> and we didn't know where he was, and there he is at the top of the hill. Yeah, Cole's crazy. And his so little pip squeak. Punch on. card needed for the ER. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I think we pretty much had a relationship with our our doctors going through the ER. Yeah, for sure. And they knew you by name. <laughs> you were always like it seemed like you guys were always in the upper the the part where you guys were chubbier and taller and fatter oh. and <laughs> you never had to get skinny jeans for you guys just real quick regarding hanging with the hendersons uh right now we're kind of waiting for everything to circulate um there's no there's no like formal plans for any additional seasons at this it, point. It just aired in like Afghanistan and Australia. Yeah. Yeah. But we're we're eager to and if you guys did like the show, definitely, you know, email Animal Planet or go on any like IMDB and throw those ratings up. Um, any of that stuff is helpful. But here's a really good question, Mom. Your perspective, who's the most sensitive? Oh my gosh, I just got a I just got a letter that Cole wrote me today and we both cried. Okay. He's the one that he gives you a card and he cries before yeah. you do. And he's so adorable and so sensitive and he has a big heart and he's like the biggest brute. And even Ross, tell him the story about you, him wearing your pants and you were afraid to tell him to take him off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So yeah, like my little brother, uh, I come downstairs, I'm like, where are my clothes? And he's wearing my clothes. <laughs> and instead of me being like, hey, can you take my pants off? Like, I was scared to ask for my pants back because I thought he would beat me up. <laughs> he wouldn't give it back. I was just like, I guess those are your pants now. I'm going to go back upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't go into the cave. Well, know? when you have a, a younger brother, and I know this from experience, I know people that have four sons, and they say the younger one has to be you guys are his role model. He wants to be as good as you, if not better. And he always strived to try to do what you were doing at a younger age. So he had a lot more experience. Ooh, I like this one. My, this one. Haven't gone dirt biking for a while there. Um, I heard yesterday you guys flooded my, him. My, my boobus asks on Instagram, who had the most girlfriends? Oh, that's oh my easy. gosh. It's Kyle. Can we say yeah. Kyle? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely Kyle. Yeah. I was... I, I, he broke a lot of hearts, but he definitely won the lottery with Mandy. So I think I win the least. I think I had three. But you, I met back. you fell in love with Kyle's girlfriends. Yeah, I kept falling in love with all Kyle's girlfriends. Yeah, do you remember Jacqueline? <laughs> you, when he like, broke every, her heart. Every girlfriend he had, I was like, okay, can I marry her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I have to tell this story, and this is a really sweet story. Oh. Absolutely adorable. Oh, Kyle was in college dating a girl. Should I say her name? Yeah. I won't say her Amber, last yeah. name. Amber. And we wouldn't let our kids sleep with their girlfriends in our home. So I said. Well, Ross can sleep with her. He's a little kid. He's only what five or were you five? I don't know. So he He's had Smurf. To like he had it. Smurf a down duvet on, and he went. He goes, Mom, do you have any flower duvets for me? With Amber's going to sleep with me. And I'm like, this is stupid. I mean, to let him do that. And they woke. And he usually gets up at seven in the morning. It's ten thirty, and I'm like, Are you guys going to get up in here? That was my first time I ever slept in. I was so excited. Yeah. I must have been older than five, but I don't know. If Becca uh, wants here's to a question. carry that on. Here's Joe. A... So Joe wants to know who is who's the fussiest? Like who's the biggest pain? Oh, fussy. Well, I know Ryan was never fussy when he was little. He ate a burrito made with peas okay, like and food. hot dogs. <laughs> so are we talking fussy food? Like, or... Who gave you the hardest time? Who was a brat? Out of all four. Do you know, I can't ever say that I ever... We paid I her felt... to say that. I feel like yeah. my teenage years, we didn't get along very well. Yeah. Well, you were constantly... <laughs> in the basement, you loved your games and stuff. Yeah. And I'd say, Ryan, I says, we're trying to, um, I'm an intro. Oh, I'm I'll an never introvert. forget this. It was your party for your graduation. I said, Ryan, could you help me mow the line? He goes, this is in my house. Like, oh, did I say that? I, I said, so I, he, I, I was put, just a teenager. That's yeah. I put, my, I put that. my mom who is 75, eight years old and she was mowing the lawn wave. And I go, we're going to keep this picture someday and she'll be waving to us. We're, were you ever, did you ever get embarrassed with us, like running around the neighborhood, riding our bikes naked and stuff? Like, yeah, well, no, embarrassed. I've got pictures of you. I think you were proud of you, me. most Dilly and Kyle, who like to run around nude in the front yard with moon boots on <laughs> and no clothes. And I've had a lot of people mention that to me. And then I don't, I don't know if you started, pe dad taught you how to go potty outside. Oh, because when we go camping, he taught us how to pee on, pee a, on tree. a tree. So I come home off a flight one time and I go, Ross, why are you peeing on my plant? 
And, oh, in the house? <laughs> yeah, in the house. He goes, and Tony goes, I taught him how to pee on trees outside like the dogs do. I go, that isn't uh, right. No, he needs, yeah. to wear, he needs to wear diapers uh, in the so house. So we're, we're going to move on from me peeing on plants in the house to uh, Cindy. And Cindy said, and who's Cindy the, wants who's to the know easiest who's the to easiest. raise? Yeah. Who's the easiest? There, there are certain easiest ones on certain days. And I <laughs> well, maybe that's just true. like I have favorite ones. Whoever I'm with is my favorite mm. and the most easiest. This is, it's funny. This is how the TV show was. They would ask us these questions on the interview couch. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, and they were like the toughest questions. I'm yeah. trying to think who is most laid yeah, back. I would say probably Ross. Yeah, he's very was the back. most laid back, chill. Mm -hmm. He's a Sagittarius like me, so I understood his. He's always late. He, he says things <laughs> outspoken, and we get along yeah, really well. Cool. And I would say he was probably the most chill. And you guys never really picked on Ross. Nope. No. No. It's got no fight with him once. Ping pong battle. Did you? <laughs> All right. So I wanted to. We we're gonna switch gears here, and we're gonna play the scariest game ever with my mom, <laughs> which is called Never Have I Ever. Uh, actually, our buddy. Our buddy Noah introduced Noah. this game. Uh, so we're going to start off with just a few questions specifically for my mom, and then we're all going to jump in and play, okay? Uh, so, mom. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, let's start with an easy one. Never have I ever asked my kids how old they were moment momentarily or momentarily forgot their names. Oh, I do that. I go, Kairai Roko, let's go. So you have done that, right? I so have. Av I have. Okay. Lots of times. Perfect. So then the camera's right there. Okay. Um, do you want to pick one, Ryan? Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe that one. What? Or no. <laughs> I don't know. Never have I ever dropped an F ball in front of my kids. Have you ever dropped an F bomb in front of us? You had to tell I me. don't think it was me more than your Oh, it was more yeah, your dad. Tell mom. Did I ever say the F word? I never even swore until I met your dad. <laughs> That's a. Uh, but not you guys. The truth. You okay. guys said a lot of that. I, Here's a good one. Mom, you got you to gotta use the thing. Never have I ever stuck my hand in a toilet to retrieve whatever toy had been accidentally or purposely lodged in there. Oh yeah, and I used to put your dirty diapers. So in which there one? Too. You got it. You got it. Have I it. have. Okay. But <laughs> I washed it. You, you guys would throw it. things in there all the time. Uh, let's see. No, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, use my hands or clothing. Yeah. How about when What's I used to lick my it, fingers it, 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 to okay. fix your hair? So never have I ever used my hands or own clothing to wipe the snot from my kid's nose or my spit to wipe the filth off of that. their face. Oh, you've done my hair I've numerous done that times. a lot. Just the other week. Yeah. <laughs> I used to spit on my finger and wipe off like the dirt on their hand. But you guys always were like pretty. Your hair was perfect. You always looked so cute. <laughs> 14. <laughs> what? Never have I ever used the smell test to determine what exactly had been smeared all over the floor? Have you? Oh, I picked up. All right. I did pick up a child that you were playing with. His turd ball. I thought it was a tootsie ball. <laughs> it was, I was walking up the stairs and I go, what is this? And I picked it up and I go, oh my gosh. And I've never done that with you guys. We won't mention oh, good. it. That's good. Awesome. Awesome. That's good. But I do keep my couches when you were little blankets on them and covers so that we wouldn't have boogers all over them. <laughs> Here's one. Uh, and you're well, not allowed to use the towels. One, one more before we all jump in on this crazy game that we are already starting on. Um, have you ever claimed that your child was younger than we really were to get a discount? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that a thing parents do? Well, we could like get them on the airplane mail. under oh. two. Yeah, oh. there are a lot of people. But they got on free, but the only thing is half the time we couldn't get on the flight because yeah, we had so, six people. So our mom was a flight attendant. I don't know if everyone knows that. So We had to wear suits. Yeah. And, I mean, you guys did too, and I had to dress you up in a three-piece suit to go on the airplane. Oh. By the end of the day, when we didn't get on eight hours later, your suit looked like <laughs> a mess. Okay. Ooh, Ross got a list. All right. So, Mom, we're going to jump in with you. Some of these are easy. Some of these might be. I actually haven't seen all of these. Uh, I had some help from my lovely assistant. Um, so what we're going to do is, is we're going we're gonna, to, after we ask a question, we're going to first just put up our answer. Okay. Kind of wait. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see look. if you're right because yeah. I know the answer. All right. <laughs> oh, as a kid? 
yeah, so this, you have to think of it as a kid like okay. yourself. So this all is right. all self-reflective. Okay, first one. Um, never have I ever sneaked dessert before dinner. Oh, yeah. oh for sure. So you, you gotta, guys you, stick you got your mom. finger in the middle of it. <laughs> am I allowed, am I'm supposed to say when that? When you were little, you used to? Yeah, you uh, yeah. There I'm you sure go. I have. All right. And like, yeah, so with the answer, so hold on to that. You've got your I have not and I have. So next one, um, never have I ever lied to my parents about being hungover. No, I honestly, because we, 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 I thought we had a good relationship. I would just tell you I got drunk. Yeah. <laughs> When you were vomiting in the well, sink, I'm I knew. The wor- I'm the worst person. <laughs> no, I don't know okay. if I ever did lie. Uh, never have I ever cheated on a test. Uh, wait, never have I ever. I have. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> I used like to. Like mother All like right, son. I had a, a person sitting next to me. I would say, would you raise your elbow a little bit <laughs> higher, please, so I can see the answer. Uh, <laughs> I... I Used to be really clever. Did you write and then them on your I hand? remember something Dad told us. He said, "He said if you're, you're if you're smart enough yes. to cheat and get away with it, you're smart enough to get the grade oh, anyway." You said that? And <laughs> so, to me, that was like an incentive to just like, okay. just get the grades. My you know? story is way worse. I couldn't remember NAFTA, the acronym for, and I still don't know, North America Free Trade Agreement. Yes, <laughs> and so I had it on my hand, like so cliche, and I got caught, and so I got a zero on that test in fifth grade so my a went down to like a c minus that's oh bad. my gosh that's dad horrible. told me the opposite he said you're very lucky to be able to learn and it's it's a privilege and you shouldn't cheat yeah. <laughs> well no he didn't say if you're he didn't <laughs> he didn't say cheat and get away with it he was saying if you are doing it and get like you're putting oh, okay. more work you're putting in more work you might as well just learn it you know oh, okay I all right it. is cheating when your father wrote the whole story that i was supposed to write and it was science fiction and the teacher knew I didn't write it. It was all about <laughs> space. And I was like, this I turned it in. Yeah, my dad wrote the story. He goes, oh, I'll write it for you. And he wrote it and I turned it in. It was in like seventh or eighth grade. Awesome. I got it. All right, e. let's go to the next one. <laughs> oh, he wrote something I never wrote. Never have I ever stolen from a sibling. Hmm. What would you have um, stolen? Yes. No, but they used to borrow my stuff and I think we had more things with borrowing clothes we borrowed yeah clothes and yeah. then it's something we wanted to wear Cole if Cole's watching my little brother I he wants his pants cut yeah. no it's usually like sneaking in and grabbing the keys to the car or he the won't let me drive or something yeah. or the motorcycle there you but, go and then Never I usually money put it back or no. anything no, no, no. like that this is right. fun oh shoot man I, I literally I, sh- I don't even need the back of this never have I ever Forged a permission slip for my parent. <laughs> uh oh, hell! I, I never, I never missed a day of high school, like ever, except one like. Well, I'm day. talking. I remember. I remember uh, to you go on a field trip. Name? It was like field trips and stuff, oh. and it's like the permission slips are due today, and I'm oh. like, oh yeah. I oh, was see, probably I, out of town. Or no, something. I'd race home and get it signed. <laughs> you would do that. You're too. No, proud. in middle school, I learned how to you, you like etch. You like get pencil and you color on the back of it and then you trace with a oh, pen yeah. on top and then it makes an imprint and then you go over that. Gosh, you... I was the worst. Did you write my name or dad's? His is easy. Dad's squiggle. Yeah. 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 Uh, all That's right. a good one. Oh, I'd be curious this one, Mom. Never have I ever talked my way out of a ticket. No. Oh. I, I literally... Oh, you just did recently. I just did. Like last week. I have not. I always get nailed. Well, I had, I, pe- I had Penny in the car and she helped. With her cute little ears. So are you guys are you guys playing? The diarrhea along with one doesn't home? work. <laughs> I tried that one. <laughs> Going down two eighty five. Never have I ever used a fake ID. Did you? I didn't know that, Ross. Dude, I'm the worst. I was the worst little kid. How come I didn't know any of this? I was such a good kid. How about scared? How about we'll ask this one if Kyle was here? have you guys ever Snuck out of the basement window and drove my tempo and stick shift all over the neighborhood when I was sound asleep. Wasn't he like 13? Yeah, he had to go to (laughs) check on a party or something in the North Ranch. Uh, Never have I ever been suspended from school. Oh my gosh, I'm such a... What, you did? Yeah, dude, I downloaded Napster and downloaded like 2,000 songs on all of the I didn't know you got lens. suspended. I'm learning so much about Hey, they're going to be... I almost got suspended. 
What bathroom still? No, I didn't. I just got suspended for hacking into the database. We both are. No, my got suspended for super nerdy things. I literally, I downloaded illegally like thousands of songs on the computer lab because when we were in computer lab writing oh, i was like oh i want to listen to um ace of bass and so <laughs> <laughs> you were in metallica yeah uh yeah uh never have i ever called in sick for work when i really wasn't I yeah we know. can't no we can yeah it just screw it just like screw over me because i'd have to come in on my day off so, Ross, what about the time in the grocery store when you when you hung on to the side of the escalator? Yeah. We didn't think There's he was... There's so many. There's so many stories. Well, anyways, do you guys have any other never have I ever's just to finish this this up? <laughs> Good boy, Ryan. Bad boy, Ross on Instagram. <laughs> Christine Laters is like, I never would have believed all... Yeah. I know! I literally am learning of all this, no, too. No, to be completely honest, and then I found God, and now I'm a different person, okay? <laughs> Uh, let's you see. can show this Jenny. one of Ra Kyle in Napster? the mailbox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then show that. Put it up to the Becco. Becco can help. All right, Kyle. Kyle probably doesn't even remember these. <laughs> oh, all right. We we don't want to get flagged. There. Okay. Yeah, I would put that down. <laughs> we we officially might have just gotten flagged for interplay. <laughs> oh yeah, this could be like. If this video children. stays up. You After that, then we're the good. Blurred on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna have to blur it. We just put ch nude children. Poor Kyle, he's oh getting because he's not here. We can get away with it. <laughs> yeah, show all the nude pictures of Kyle. <laughs> There's one at Cole on the toilet. No, we're not. Just... You told me to get the embarrassing one. <laughs> oh, he told you to do that to us. Uh... Well, I don't. Have no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh my gosh. A lot of you guys sleeping. You There's guys, Kyle. one thing about boys is they sleep all the we, time. We, yeah, Kyle, sorry we just showed your naked little boy body. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> yeah, I liked listening to Ace of Base in Computer Lab. <laughs> oh, that's, a, yeah, so that's our uh, babysitter. Where? Right? Oh, that's She's cool. my neighbor now. We need more questions, guys. I saw one up there. Um, oh, we need more. Aunt oh, Aunt Cindy had one. Okay, so this. All right, we got we got some source straight from. Uh, oh, this is Aunt Cindy. All right, I. So our oh. aunt used my mom's ID to get into bars. She does then look Grandpa like me. One asked, asked him to get a six pack. <laughs> I know you have Debbie's old That's driver's hilarious. license. <laughs> oh, so, oh, Dad. Uh, so That's Mom, pretty cute. Just real quick, tell us a little bit about your family, because we we obviously know you you raised four boys with Dad. How big was your family? Yeah, tell. Okay, a lot of well, people let don't me realize. tell you one thing we did with the ice cream. I don't know if people remember getting the ice cream in a square. We didn't have a lot of treats. We my mom would only make homemade cookies or whatever, but we always went to bed only if we got something to eat before we went to bed. That was just the tradition. I thought everybody did that. And my mom, with six of us, would get that whole square half gallon of ice cream, 59 cents, right? Yeah. And slice it. She'd cut it so every piece was even, and we'd be standing there waiting yeah. to see which one was like the biggest. But puppies. that, I remember that was really sweet because oh, she sweet. always made cinnamon toast or rice, rice pudding or something. And... We didn't have a lot of treats. We never popped potato chips, nothing like that, or never went out to so, lunch. So how many anything. sisters and how many brothers? I have three sisters and two older brothers. Nice. Big so family. by the way, Ryan knows that. He's asking just to oh, be in an interviewer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, we're just interviewing. We're all like within a year apart. Yeah, it's like I don't know that. <laughs> Wait, Mom, so what is With, your last name? Well, <laughs> we all were kind of, you know... Your, my brothers were in the band, so they played at all our sock hops. I yeah. mean, days were really right. simple Let's back then. Let's do this one. For, okay, never have I ever sneak, sneak peeked at Christmas presents. I did. I was looking I mean, at... You, <laughs> you can shake them, mate. Maybe well, I'm... we only got one present You would, each. like, tear it back or something? Uh, no, I just... You'd find them? I would, I would shake them, I would peel the tape, <laughs> and I would look at the package, and then I would... God, I didn't know you were so yeah. And bad. it's not as bad as your father, though. His story is he opened all the presents, <laughs> and no one knew who went to what. And he also caught the house on fire, so which one of you take up to your dad? <laughs> That's not Ross, you I guess. Yeah. 
Oh, well, anyways. Awesome. That was fun. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, Is welcome there any other to, or, stories? Again, if you've seen Hanging with the Hendersons, you guys obviously know my mom. Uh, we Where's were, the spatula? I'm like the biggest fan. <laughs> What's your... He's, uh, he's embarrassed by me more than so I'm embarrassed we, by him. It was fun to have mom on. Mom, any last photos you want to just exp that aren't nude children? <laughs> I love I love these of the three oh, boys. Yeah, those are I good. just love you got Oh, you guys were all it was in um, Portugal. Right? A and closer maybe. Yeah, I just think oh, the vacations there you go. that there you go. That's Ross. No, that's Cole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this hunk. That's an ogre. Wait for it. <laughs> Cover more of the screen. There you go. Uh, and that's a blurry. Oh. There it oh. is. Yeah, look at that. Hungry. <laughs> and All then right. here's Mr. Ross. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Yeah. The... Aww. Sweet boy. All right. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna we're gonna finish up here, but I'm gonna have my mom keep showing some pictures if she wants, and we're gonna keep reading y'all's comments. Um, and I'm gonna. Hi, see... Madison. Hi, Aunt Cindy. You guys, um, I know Gail wants to watch. She's driving home, but we can say Happy Mother's Day to all our sisters, all our relatives, Sarah, Mattis, her mom, and everybody. And and just think of moms that are yep. not here with us today. That's true, yeah. too. Absolutely. Miss them. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great Mother's Day. Um, if you want to stay and throw some comments up, we'll be uh, sharing just yeah your guys comments and my mom's gonna throw some more photos that aren't naked children okay um, <laughs> and uh, i'm gonna throw this song uh from I six love. feet apart up the world's right, gone crazy Ross and we didn't see it coming well, and this is our music gets on coming wait so let's get this my mom
It's on Dad's boat. I have to vote when I get home, by the way. Another, I've been voting every day. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't even know what to vote. You didn't know about the six feet apart vote? I've been gone. Okay, we gotta show this one across. We need updates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got one more song for you guys and we'll let you go. Can you show this one? We'll go up really close and then go back. Yeah, don't even look at the screen, just put it, I imagine you're just putting it straight up. up. Thanks, Alyssa. So is this your favorite with the ears? Would never let is that, me oh, is that my Michael Jackson? Long Becca, I know we love you. On. Say hi to Gail. She says... Hi, Gail. Can you hear me? Yeah. Drive safe. I love you. I miss you. And Bobby's on there for you guys. I'll go like this. Please. Baby, I'm so we were pretty close. Ryan and I got real mad when we were playing ping pong. Oh really? Make me now. I know you can save me. Don't sit there and watch as I play. Thank you, Beth. Same to you. We fought a little bit. Mom, did we fight a lot? Um, we had court when they fought. We would um like make you guys tell us why you think you were wrong and you would have to apologize and I hug each other. <laughs> Had a hard day at kindergarten or preschool. Seemed like you had a lot of hard days at school. Uh oh. <laughs> Beth is saying, never have I ever with dad could be dangerous. Dad's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh -oh. Here's Cole. Remember these little hooded. Put it real close. Oh my gosh, look at that. Baby, I'm desperate to Oh, I love this one in Ross and his parents' sweater. Oh, that's a cute picture. Who is that? Cole. That's an Aaron sweater Roger. from Ireland. His Auntie Isabel made it for him. It might have been even Heather. I dressed him all up with wrinkle dogs for Halloween, and that's Ross, but oh, every one of Ross knew, is Dr. Tony. I knew even that far back that I was going to be a bit. Oh, God. This he got a hold of my pajamas, my everyday pajamas, right? I never wore those in my Mom, life. Mom, how old were you when you had Kyle? I was 28. Uh, 28. And I had all of you guys. Um, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> You're so cute. Love you guys. Thank you so much yeah. for hanging. Thanks. It Have was fun. Have a great rest of your night. Happy Mother's you. Day, everybody.